What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know it is. It's your boy careful man All right, so we're gonna check out why South Korea is investing so much in the Philippines Okay, so let's find out why Korea is investing so much in the damn Philippines The Philippines country ties are known for being connected to Japan the United States and its neighboring countries These countries are all illustrated for being large trade partners economic investors and even military alliances there is, on the other hand, a country that has been largely missed out on the list. And in recent decades, this country's presence has emerged quite largely within the Philippines. Yes, we are talking South about Korea. South Korea, a country that is slowly becoming one of the leading economic partnerships in the Philippines. Its growth in almost all the sectors in the country, from the vehicle industry such as that. Hyundai and Kia Hyundai Motor Company, a lot of to leading in the, the mobile sales business such as Samsung phones, and to many surprises, South Koreans have consecutively become the leading tourism visitors in the Philippines. Really? So, I kind of figured that South Korea had a big impact on the Philippines because what I've noticed is that a lot of Filipinos, when I was over there, they told me, a lot of Filipinos, they try to emulate South Koreans because South Koreans, like, their skin is so much lighter and, it, and every Filipino thinks that lighter skin is not better. I don't know. So maybe that's why they're, like, so, like, so many Koreans in there, in, in the Philippines. I'm kind of getting that out. And plus BTS. How did South Korea grow so big in the Philippines? And will it one day become the largest partner in terms of economy, trade, so and close, even right? continuously becoming a tourist paradise? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. The South Korea-Philippines relations have a remarkable relationship that spans decades. The special connection started during the Korean War, when the Philippines was one of the countries that recognized the existence of the Republic of Korea. And since then, there have been several military cooperations between the two countries, which South Koreans have continuously thanked the Filipinos who helped their country during such a drastic time. This eventually evolved into social and economic partnerships. By the mid-1950s, both countries established their presence with each other by opening an embassy building. These military cooperations would eventually become an integral part in the later years as South Korea became one of the leading figures in the Philippines military, as it supplies crucial equipment such as warships and fighter jets. Fast forward 50 years that. later, then President Fidel V. Ramos visited South Korea, which ultimately became an important date in diplomatic relations. And as a side note, Fidel Ramos was also a veteran of the Korean War. Today, we can see the impact of South Korea in the very lives of the country, from its culture to the economy. The majority of Filipinos have experienced it one way or another, either through the so-called Korean wave which brought in a massive flow of South Korean culture, from the famous K-dramas, K-pop, K-games, yep, and most importantly, Korean food. These have all enabled a stronger flow of trade between the two countries. What commonly stood out from South Korea's presence is often known for their vehicle and smartphone devices. Considering how Hyundai and Kia Motors are seeing substantial growth in the past decade and how Samsung is one of the leading smartphone devices. Although, as of recently, the Philippines is seeing an emergence of South Korean firms impacting a large part of the construction industry. Firms such as Hyundai ENC, Dalem Industry, just to name a few, have taken part in helping construct some of the boldest projects the Philippines have done in its history. Yes, sir. These are the likes of the Malolos Clark Railway, a 163 kilometer rail system, a petrochemical plant located in Bataan that would be worth around 300. I, I thought they had closed that, that down, the one, the Bataan. Are they talking about the nuclear power plant in Bataan? Cause I did, a, I think I did a video about about that, and I knew that uh, uh, they 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 canceled that project. I'm kind of surprised they kind of put it up here. Hundred and seventeen million dollars, and even became a manufacturer of the country's metro rail transit systems. What stands out, however, is the announcement from a South Korean firm called EN Plus. It was when they became keen on pouring over one hundred million dollars wow. into the electric vehicle industry of the country. The future, on the other hand, is quite difficult to say. However, if anything, these past and present occurrences are already good signs about the future of the two nations. Even the current president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, claimed that South Korea Duterte. and the Philippines have a special friendship and will continue to do so in the future. Moreover, one of the biggest international aid the country has received during one of the greatest calamities in recent years, the COVID-19 pandemic, was from South Korea. 
And according to data, as of 2022, they have been a leading helping hand to the land, sending half a million AstraZeneca vaccine doses and sending 10.6 billion pesos worth of international assistance. Wow. And what's more, these are just some of the many others it has done during the crucial time, even for its own country. These are likewise great indicators that South Korea and the Philippines' relations will continue to improve and may in the future be one of the greatest economic partnerships. That is crazy to think. I kind of, I believe everything they said in this video. Honestly, I believe every single word because, like I said, when I was in the Philippines, I noticed a lot of influences from uh, South Korea. And I noticed that, like I said, the biggest one, I think, was the skin thing. A lot of uh, Filipinos think lighter skins are better. And I think that South Koreans are, like, just naturally lighter than uh, Filipino people. And I think that has a really big impact on the Filipino people because they try to emulate being white and also... South Koreans. I don't know. Do you guys agree with me? You guys don't? Let me know in the comments down.